You watch. First cast, I'll catch a bass. Yep. Oh, what did I tell you? So, it's just come back into spring here in Australia, which means all the reptiles will be coming out and the fish will be looking for more food. But since bass season has just come back around and everyone loves my last bass catch and cook, I decided to head out on my kayak to see if I could catch any. Here's what happened. You watch. First cast. I'll catch a bass. Oh, here. Getting a hit. Yep. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? And I don't have a net. That is great. What's the odds this is a legal bass? Oh. This could be a good bass. And I don't have a net. Wow. Nah, I reckon I'm calling mid 30s. Oh yeah, mid 30s. That's a, that is awesome. They're on today. Oh, he's gonna come off. No, he's not. You watch, this is gonna come off. Oh, it didn't. Bass. I love bass. And that is the fish that we came out to catch. That's a nice little one, probably be around 30 centimeters. Just inhaled that slim swim on the first cast. But take a look at that. Exact same place where I caught the one in my bass catching cook last time. Bass. I love bass. All right, see you, buddy. There he goes. Bass. All right, let's go catch some more. Bass hair gel, you know. I've moved on from eels to bigger things. What are the odds I'll get two bass and two casts? Well, obviously not very good ones because I didn't catch anything else that day. But here's a bass. Here's a bass. Here's a video of me cooking up a bass. Why can't I talk? Here's a video of me cooking up a bass that I caught a few days ago. It's day two at the moment and what I've done is I've got my bass here. I chucked it in the freezer overnight and I've got a few ingredients and I'm gonna be making fish cakes. So what I need to do first is get this water on here, start boiling it up and peel these potatoes. I feel like I'm sharpening a spear right now. All around me are familiar faces have to go and get that potato for the amount of potato in the recipe. It's in the bush now. Probably possum eating it or something. I dropped the other one. Look at it. <laughs> I just realized you meant to peel potatoes towards you. So then we're just going to chop the potato up. So we're just going to scale the fish then fillet it. These are literally the only two knives I've got. Sorry, Bazza. So then we're going to get this knife and cut some fillets off of this bass. Call me a professional bass filleter. So I got all the meat off the bass that I could, so now I'm just going to feed it to the local guanas. I'm going to throw this all into the water for a bit. Alright, so now I'm going to grate this onion. Mill. <laughs> you take the skin off it first. I knew that. So now I'm going to put all these ingredients in a bowl. Add some water. Got it. one egg, throw in some leaves. Whatever leaves you find on trees outside is all right. <laughs> nah, coriander. We're gonna chop some chives with the scissor. Now we're gonna smash it up with a fork. Looks like vomit. Do salt and pepper. Oh yeah, cause salt and pepper will make it look better. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fixed now. It looks so much better. Luckily we added that salt and pepper. Now we're gonna get our fish cakes and drop in Little fish cakes. Nice. To put it in a real technical form. Oh, babe, mama. That's the end result. We just cooked it and everything, and it actually looks really good, and I'm excited to taste it. They smell good. Like quiche, and they look like quiche. Wait, are they quiche? And obviously, you can put different things on it. Mayo, lemon, mullet, chur. Sure. Now, that's probably the best catch and cook I've ever done. I know I say that every video, but still, it's solid. Last time I cooked bass too was really good. We did that curry recipe or whatever. And um, this time I've one-upped it. I, I didn't know I could do that. But... Take a look at that, another great adventure and everything. I'm so glad I got to catch that bass out of the dam in the exact same spot where I did my bass catch and cook last time. And then it all basically shut off after then. But if you want to see more bass catch and cooks in the future, make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you like this kind of stuff, go check out my Instagram, Miller Wilson. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next adventure. See as much to share anything for diamonds or for free.